Covering Ian's impact, students in Collier County, Florida, just south of where Ian caused the most damage, returned to class, though it's unclear how many students actually attended. In Lee County, where Fort Myers is, all schools are closed for the week, but they're not expected to open next week either. Reporter Bridget Matter is in Fort Myers with a search and rescue crew showing how much work is still needed. The wrath of Hurricane Ian left Fort Myers Beach in shambles. It looks like a war, like a, like a bomb was dropped. Catastrophic storm ripping apart businesses, leveling homes. Everything here is gone. Sergeant Willie Diaz with Miami Police escorted us through Fort Myers Beach. At every turn, ruins of what used to be. Look at the 7-Eleven. While driving, a request for cadaver dogs came over the radio. Can I get an HR dog? 211. HR mean human remains. A grim reality for first responders working nonstop trying to save who they can. According to Miami Fire Rescue, bodies were recovered yesterday. What we're seeing is that a lot of homes that was washed away by the storm surge could have potentially ended up in the water. We're in the parking lot of an apartment complex in Fort Myers Beach. There are a lot of cars and most of them are marked with this orange tape. This indicates that rescue crews have gone through the car searching for casualties or potential survivors. And these cars are everywhere, some of them thrown in piles like over there. We followed South Florida Urban Search and Rescue Florida Task Force 2 out of Miami as they prepare to go out on the water to search mangroves and other areas for casualties or survivors. All these little docks are possible hotspots. The team is using a drone to guide another group doing searches off the coast. Uh, looking for any spots that might have been missed, looking for any potential um, you know, uh, fatalities that might be stuck in the brush. Miami Fire Rescue took this video of canals they searched Thursday afternoon. Some homes were torn off and thrown from their foundation. At the end of our ride along, we ran into 77 year old Frank Murray. He and his family stayed for the storm. You see entire houses floating down. You see things that are just going crazy. I mean, the noises, the banging. He says this is home and he will stay and rebuild. Once the debris piles are searched and all areas are looked at, rescue teams will tell local officials there's no more they can do. It's now been a little more than a week since the storm passed. The chance of finding survivors is slimming by the hour. In Fort Myers Beach, Bridget Matter, Channel 4, The Local Station.